In Dayton, the city has opened warming centers at the three recreation centers listed here on your screen. They're open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., but with overnight temperatures colder than they are now, we're asking how effective it is to limit the hours. That's what Jordan Burgess is working for you to find out. New at 6. With those frigid temperatures out here, and I mean frigid, there are places that you can go inside. Warming centers like the Payne Recreation Center here in Moraine. But what happens when this place closes tonight? We wanted to know where people can go and if there's enough space for them. Care items in there. A warm bed can be a lifesaver on a cold night. Coming to shelter is, is certainly a much better alternative than being outside tonight. Those at St. Vincent de Paul say between their two shelters, they housed about 300 people last night. That's a 10% increase over the night before, and they expect to add to that number tonight. How much capacity do you have? I mean, how much can you handle? Uh, on one cold day last year, we in both shelters, we, had, we served 495 guests, so uh, we have plenty of capacity. In fact, the shelter says it had more people staying the night three months ago. We have a number of programs with our partners now that are doing a much better job of families who are coming into shelter. We're finding permanent housing for them much more quickly. St. Vincent de Paul's shelters are where anyone staying at the warming centers opened by many communities will have to go because those centers close at night. Those with Dayton's warming centers say they'll make sure anyone there at the end of the night gets to a warm place. We want to try to connect, connect those people um, with the appropriate resources. Those at St. Vincent de Paul say they're ready for any additional guests. I don't want anybody to think if they come to us uh, that we'll do anything but welcome them with open arms. And warming centers like this one here in Moraine will be open again tomorrow during the day if you need some place to go. And, of course, there will be those shelters at night. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.